Is this anti-tank video real? Okay, watch the house down at the left-hand corner of your screen. First vehicle in the convoy. Now watch the top right of your screen. No, the video isn't real. Now, this was sent to me by a Serbian fan of the channel. Apparently, this was shown on a new station in Serbia without context. Uh, what I do find funny is that the title was this, which is translated as current news. The red line has not been drawn, but NATO and the West are decisively pushing the world into war. Well, Serbians do know a thing or two about starting a world war, so I guess we should listen to the experts here. Now, I don't speak Serbian, so I don't know what these announcers are saying. I don't know if these are supposed to be Russian vehicles or Ukrainian vehicles. I don't know the context of the conversation before the footage was shown. But on to the video. This is very obviously from the game Arma 3, but even if it wasn't, let me show you some things that pop out at me. The first is that these tanks are way too close. This one is okay, but these aren't. On a convoy, you want between 100 and 200 meters between vehicles. A Russian T-72 is 9.5 meters long, so maybe we're talking about 30 meters between vehicles here. And when the adversary attacks, the attack comes from one side of the road and then the other side of the road. And wait for it, here's the third attack from a third direction. Okay, so let's break this down. Here's our column of tanks rolling down the road. You would attack from two directions if you were doing something called an L-shaped ambush, but they are both on the same side of the road. You use an L-shaped ambush on the same side of the road for a couple of reasons. The first is command and control. The people initiating the ambush need to hear your primary and secondary commands to initiate the ambush, lift fire and cease fire and assault through. It's a lot easier to do if you're all on the same side of the road. You have good command and control over your elements. The other component is that the long part of that L gets a lot of great flanking shots all the way down that column of tanks. Well, the short part of the L has enfilade fire all the way down the column. So they can kill any people who are escaping from their tanks with small arms fire. If you put a unit here, number one, they're going to be a lot harder to control. The only way to do it would be to use a radio or maybe signal flares. And number two, you're exposing them to friendly fire. And this is going to make you very unpopular in what is left of your unit. Russia depends on your military ignorance to push their political propaganda. Fight back with knowledge. A link to the original news article is in the pinned comments and the description below as is a link to FM3-21.8, which is the Infantry Rifle Platoon and Squad Manual for the U.S. Army. Thank you for watching.